Welcome everybody to my Fiverr gig, our YouTube channel if you're watching this there. This this is Chancy Chio or Chancy Jado, depending on where you're watching this. And today I'm going to be showing you all my a sample of what I offer here on Fiverr. And today I'm being joined by these two great people over here. Uh, their faces will be uh, whichever I choose to put it on in post. All right, introduce yourselves, please. Uh, my name is Russell. I'm John. All right, but introduce your characters. Um, my character's name is Janita Longfellow. You named her? Mm-hmm. He named her. And I am Clyde and Rana Rock. All right, what are your classes? I'm a cleric. I'm an elf one. All right, seeing it, as most of you noticed, they his class was elf and she didn't give a and she didn't give a race that's because we're using advanced labyrinth lord which is a retro clone of basic edition D and a little higher than that where class is race there are rules for separating them but for today we're just using the basic stuff so that's why their class is the same as their race. So Crystal's a human, he's an elf, she's a cleric, he's an elf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so without any further ado, let's get this one-shot game started. Okay, so both of you have arrived in the town of, of Creole. In this town, everything seems to be nice and fine. Everyone's getting along pretty well. You're in a marketplace with a cart of apples on one side, melons on the other, and just other kinds of goods there. You hear some hammering from the ne nearest blacksmith shop down the downwards. Down the street, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. What's up? Hmm, what do y'all hope to do in town at the moment. I want to look at the fruit. Okay. I want to look at the fruit, do and find an elf girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any fruit in particular, or do you just want me to surprise you? Um, I want to look for something exotic and like like something unique to that area. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I want cantaloupes and dragon fruit. Okay. You search and you find exactly that cantaloupes and dragon fruit. And then the, there's a dwarf guy there and he says, Well, hello there. How are y'all here to see what I've been growing at the farm? And I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, Whoa, a dwarf. And I try to like pet him on the head. And then he I. Beg your pardon? <laughs> I expect strangeness from elves, but not this kind of strangeness. And then uh, I'm like, kind of like mad that he hit me, but I don't do anything about it because I'm a nice elf. And then he's and I'm just watching. All right, so either you're going to buy something or not. What is it? I will. Ladies first. I want to ask him if he has any information on the exotic stuff I'm looking for, if there's anything, like, super local. Oh, if there's something super local, you want the actual dragon fruit. Not this stuff, but the stuff grown from the lands that dragons dwell in. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want. <laughs> and then I'm, I kind of, like, agree with her, and I'm just like... Shut up and take my money. Mm -hmm. Well, the information is free, but the fruit you have to pay for. What much is it? Oh, can't you read the sign, young lady? So, I cannot read the sign. <laughs> All right, for a quick explanation in this game, if your intelligence is not high... At a certain number, then you can't read or write. I, am, I, am I can illiterate. read the sign. I am illiterate. My character cannot read. Okay. I can read the sign in one, two, three, four, five, six different languages, technically. All right. The 
Can't you read the sign? Uh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Yeah, so the fruit, the, the melons cost about five, one gold a head, and the dragon fruit costs two gold uh, for five, but for a bundle of five. Okay, well, I only have like four gold in my pocket on me total. So, are these dragon fruit good enough for me to spend half my money on? I don't know. You'll have to buy some. You need some to find out. How much money do you have? I have. We both have eight. Oh, dang. My bad. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I have eight. Yeah. Should we spend two of our eight on this dragon fruit? Yes. Janita Longfellow? Yes. We should do it. Okay. All right. So, here's a pencil. Here's a pencil and an eraser so you can uh, modify how much money you have. So we're both buying the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. So both of you are buying five dragon fruit. Unless yeah. you want to share it. Right? Oh. No, I'm all about abundance. All right. So he passes you both five dragon fruit. Hmm. Let me take uh, them. Yeah, you will write it down under your equipment. Um, hey, I have a mace. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I... Five oh, don't use food. a pen. You need to be able to oh. erase it. Uh, yeah, uh, you can use this. I was going to say, you can use it after me. Mm -hmm. I'm dragging through. Is that yes. your equipment? Yeah. Okay, Just I just couldn't see from here. Okay. Because... It's it's not good to use a pen in this sort of game because you need to because you may have equipment or abilities at one time and you may not have them later. So you'll need to be able to erase them later. That's a good eraser. Yep. Art genuine art eraser. Alright. Okay. Well since you yeah, both have eraser. Since you both have what you want, so are you going to go down to find out about the, the actual dragon fruit? I I mean, we have like this dragon fruit here, but I, I definitely, I got to have the actual dragon fruit. Wait, I thought that was the one that we just bought. No, we bought regular stuff. And now we bought we have real world and, dragon fruit. Now we have to go adventure to the actual land of the dragons to get the stuff that grows there in their soil. So it's kind of like a Shrek type thing. I'm down I've for never it. seen Shrek. I'll just say yes, and you'll proceed. <laughs> okay. All right, so you go down the road to the house of the guy who knows about this stuff. Can we take the dwarf? Will he go with us? You can try to convince him. Yeah, I think we need his help. I think okay. that would be fun. All right, so try to convince him, then roll to see if it's a success. Hey, uh, Mr. Dwarf. Mr. Oh. Warwick Davis. Well, what was your name? Rorik Yogstead. Dope. Hey, I know I can't read your sign, but um, I really appreciate the information on the dragons and seeing as where you're far more local than we are. We were wondering if you'd like to accompany us on this journey because we think it would just be a fabulous time. Now roll the, the 20 sided dice, which I, I shall like, give you. <laughs> which I shall give you. Right All right. So. Okay. You will add your uh, charisma modifier to this roll. Hold on, how much charisma does it say that I have? 11? Is that high? No. Yeah, you add the number next to it. The zero? Yeah, so it's just a straight roll then if you don't have a charisma oh, modifier. There's nothing realistic about this game. Okay. Well, I, I make the character for you. Nine. No can do. My fruit isn't going to take care of itself. Who do you think I'd leave this to? The drunkard down at the pub? I can't do that. Nope. You two are on your own. Okay. What happens if your modifier is a negative number? <laughs> then you subtract that from the dice. Roll. Okay. News even worse than mine. But, yeah, at least I can read though. Yeah, you can. <laughs> All right, so you both head down the road to the place. It's a it's a pretty humble looking place. It says on the front. <clears throat> Forestry expert. You want to know about the forest? We tell you. Okay. You'd like to know about the forest. Yeah. Oh, you're still outside. You need to actually go inside. Okay, so I open the door. I walk through the door. 
And then a guy with a crossbow points it at you and says, who trespasses on my property? And then I like throw my hands up in the air and I just say, look, I just read the sign that said you have all the information in the forest and we need to know what type of mythical creatures we're up against trying to find these dragon fruit. Can't, you could have knocked. I would have known. I, I wouldn't have thought you were intruding if you had done that first. Sorry, well, I didn't know we needed to knock. I can't. I didn't read. And I didn't know you had a knock on businesses' doors. So I thought oh, you just walk in. Well, even if you could read, I didn't put a knock first sign. I think I'll do that before the next batch of people come in, come over. Sounds yeah, nice. sounds like a good idea. All right. So what? Do, what do you want? This guy is. A is a blonde yo is a blonde blue eyed yokel. He's definitely Scandinavian. Yokel? Yes, yokel. Not local? That they, too. They call them yokels? Well, that too. I think when you say yokel, it's a type of local. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, he's he has holes through up and down his pants and he has no shoes but dirty feet. Hmm. And he has a shirt that looks like it's seen better days and lots of hunting gear throughout the place. Mm -hmm. So, what is it you would like to know? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we want to go get this dragon fruit. Well, the you go at that. Dragons. Oh, that dragon fruit. The, this is an actual fruit, right? Like an edible fruit? Oh, yes, it is, but. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with food itself. There's just risk involved with harvesting it. Is it worth the risk? Like, is it good? Oh, yeah, like some say it is. Well, if you're planning to eat it, you're better off not going after it. Is there something else we could do with it? If uh, I'll, if you want to sell it, however, that's where the true value. I'm just trying to make sure that it's not just like a cantaloupe guarded by a dragon. So they call it dragon fruit. Oh, it's the cut. Oh, it looks nothing like you'd see in the market back there. Oh, the little dwarf market? No, the dwarf With. was one of many vendors. I got you. Okay. This would be great for my Instagram. We're going to have to do it. <laughs> You're what, young lady? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> okay, so. But I'm going to need you to sign here. I'm going to need him to sign for you here and here before you uh, before you go so I don't get in trouble for sending you to your death. We sign. Gotcha. All right. And I'm going to need some gold. It's two golds. One for each of you. Oh, why? Is he like a the information? No, he's a gamekeeper. Okay. Yeah, all I know is the that there's some greedy people in this town. Y'all are taking all my money. That's okay. We're going to make a lot more back. Okay, so question before we bother. Um, uh, this sounds dangerous. And how much money can we get for said fruit? Well, that depends on where, who you're selling it to. If you're selling it here, it'll definitely sell more than your most expensive piece of fruit here. But that's not by much. By probably just an extra 10 gold. However, if you sell it in one of the big cities, we're all... We're, the streets are lined with people with deep pockets. That you probably client. got it. Yes, you're probably going to make in the hundreds, if not the thousands. Significantly more than selling it to a local. I am so down. This is the adventure that I want. <laughs> yes, well, it may not be the adventure you planned on, but this is and, the one that I want. She wears the oh. pants, so I'm down too. <laughs> oh, oh, this is perfectly fine. I like. I'm enjoying this. Okay, okay. so all right. You go into the forest of abundance, where the game is abundant. However, past that forest, you go into the valley of no return. Yeah, the f people after this fruit are why the valley got its name. If there were plenty of people who actually returned from trying to get this fruit, it'd have a different name. Oh, he shows you the map on his wall and he points to the spots you'll need to go to to go through to get path through the forest of abundance to the valley of no return. That area ain't well mapped because, well, 
value, no return at all. So you'll after that point, you're going to have to do your best to find what you're looking for. Are you good at Are you good at this kind of stuff? This like nature wandering stuff. Um, in real life, I am. Let me see here. Well, this is real life. Um, hold on. Oh, in this, in basic games, you don't have skills. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if I'm good at it, but I'm up for the challenge because I'm a brave elf. Well, and yeah, I'm you're an elf it, in so general. We're going for it. Yeah, well, you're an elf in general, so you should know something about the forest. That's you're true. a cleric. So whatever God you should pray to should protect you. That's actually true. We got this. <laughs> it's like the most newbie moment from us from the whole game. We got this. Are we good at this? Yes, we're just yeah, a cleric this, and an elf. We're like we're like the team to get this done. Yeah, if you were uh, if this were a second or higher edition game, there'd be actual skills. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I am a cleric, and our my gods will protect us. Okay, so. I rely on them a lot. I can't remember. All right. So. This ginger beer has got me feeling pretty good. Good luck. So, even though I, would, I right. hope to see you all again, but realistically, I bid you farewell. Thanks. Anyway, he says as he looks down as if he knows he's never going to see you two again. And then I say goodbye to him in Elvish. I don't know what gibberish you're speaking, but that to you too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you both head on out and head towards the Forest of Abundance. All right, and then I need y'all to make some dice rolls. You can both roll. I got a three. I got a, is that a six or a, a nine? Five. Oh, wow. <laughs> Apparently I'm the well, other one. <laughs> you hear chanting and drums beating. <laughs> farther in the Too thicket, much. and you see what looks like firelight. Um, I want to get a closer look. Alright, I'm going to need you to make a dexterity roll. Add your dexterity. Uh, five. It's really high. Okay. Oh, you step on a twig. <laughs> and then you hear Where Where am I What at? languages do y'all know? You're not far from her. What languages do y'all know? I know um, Law, Elvish, Common, Gaul, Hobgoblin, Orc, and Dwarf. I know Common. Oh, right. Yeah, for the same reason you, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you, <laughs> I know Common. you hear something that sounds like Hobgoblin, but, you, but it doesn't sound quite right. It's like the difference between regular Spanish and Costellian Spanish. Or like... Alabama redneck and Florida redneck. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. So now I hear that Janita is in danger, possibly, and I want to be there to protect her. Uh, make a dice roll on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 15 it's a or a 19. You know for sure that's not what it is. It's more along the lines of something that way. Who goes there? Am I supposed to add that to anything? No, you can choose to tell that to Crystal or keep it to yourself. What, when you, you just, just told me? You just translated what you heard them say. Yeah, I oh, just translated. okay. So they're saying, ha, who goes there? What is that? Essentially. Uh, how loudly do you say that? Oh. <laughs> I, I walk up I walk up to Janita and Make I'm like... Make a dexterity roll. <laughs> Okay. 20. Okay, you're as... It's as if you're not moving at all. That's how quiet you are. And I'm just like... Janita, they're saying, oh, who goes there? I think those are all goblins. Uh, I don't really want to mess with goblins. I think we should get away. All right, both of you make stealth checks. Eight. Ten. Okay, nothing to the eight. Uh, um, with for stealth. Yeah, you, your strength dexterity. dexterity plus one, so nine. All right, you and then I have a plus a bit, one but too. you barely make, but you barely see, get out of there, and you get out of there just fine. So you avoid any further contact. Both of us do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we got out, and I'm like, dude, um, yeah, apparently there's goblins in this forest, and I think we should just sneak everywhere we go, because that's uncomfortable. 
and to be the impacted person that was on me. Okay. Well, you make it to the other. Actually, you're one more dice roll from you two. Eleven. Okay. You hear giant footsteps. Oh, and the birds overhead fly from their trees into the sky. Now nah, make some stealth rolls. Oh god, is it Grendel? Twelve. All right, you, you succeed, but as you hide under a tree, you see some what looks like a giant man walking by. He is clearly towering over the trees. So we've got giants and hobgoblins in this forest. He sniffs. He looks at where you're at. He reaches, but just as it looks like he's going to grab you, his hand swiftly goes down and he picks up a deer. He grins, <laughs> puts it in his bag, and walks off. That's a big bag. That's a very big bag. <laughs> John, well, I, was about to say, I was about to say I close my eyes and do not watch him bite the deer's head off, but so I'm glad that he didn't do that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, yeah I'm, when I actually, uh, when people, when I negotiate games for other people, I'm going to ask what level of gore they're comfortable with. For this sample game, it's just... Um, uh, I'm keeping it as PG as possible. Okay, so after after she says, oh my gosh, that's a big bag. We could totally fit in there. I say something quirky along the lines of like, yeah, that's why we are not going to be in that bag. Let's <laughs> continue and All right. try to avoid further hobgoblins and giants. Not long after that, you emerge at the other end of the Forest of Abundance. And you see before you what looks like the entrance to a canyon. And signs that's and a sign that says, do not enter. And I don't know what it says, so I just keep walking. <laughs> okay. You see further signs that say <laughs> I'm I I see her walking and I'm like, Janina, no! <laughs> really, really loud. Oh, uh, uh, really, can, really can I loud. see one of those dice? <laughs> No, <laughs> you're like, let's make something happen. You hear, you hear some words being, uh, being spoken, but you can't, uh, uh, what, do you know Cobalt? That's uh, probably like the one language I don't know. Well, there are plenty of languages. Oh, uh, well. Know. But anyway, yes. so you hear sounds like, <laughs> then things quiet down for a bit. <laughs> And then I'm like, out of all languages, I don't know. I have to be stuck with Janine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And then I'm just like, what was that about? The street goes this way. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm confused. I okay. just said that. My character said that to you. Oh. What was that about? The street goes this way. And then I'm just like... Okay, and I just like listen to Janina because she wears the pants. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep going down the same road. All right, so you go down the road and you see another the oh side gosh. that says it is turned back, and uh, and past that is another side that says it is not too late. And I just keep looking at the signs, going, "Who did all these signs say? Are these important?" <laughs> and then I'm like, "This time you don't just keep walking; you ask the question." So I'm like. This one says, turn back. And then this one says, this is your last chance. It's not too late. Turn back. And I'm like, and then, and then the next side says, you have been warned. It was nice knowing you. And then <laughs> uh, no, the, the last one says, you have been warned. It was nice knowing you. What anyway. do you think? Should we keep going? And then I'm going to say, this sounds like a shortcut. <laughs> Dragons. I think we should keep going. I bet you there's dragon fruit right on the other side of this. And then Janita just has a spark about her that instills confidence in me, <laughs> and I agree. Uh, if you want to feel that, she needs to roll high on her charisma roll. Okay. Okay. 14 plus. Yeah, you feel that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so you proceed, and I'm going to need y'all both to make uh, wisdom rolls. 12. 9. All right, you follow him through this maze of canyons and you avoid some traps set by 
smaller creatures with dead rabbits tied to one end to trick wayward uh, creatures and whatnot. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, but you There's finally emerge on the other end of this canyon and you see greenery going farther. As the farther you go, the greenery becomes more abundant. So, and I'm like, I'm so glad I trusted you, Janita. I think we're getting closer and closer to the dragon fruits. All right, as you can, as you go into what looks to be the middle of this bowl shaped <clears throat> cropping into the canyon, the greenery has it's almost like a miniature forest jungle place, and in the center is this tree that. that and the bark looks like scales. And on the tree is purple fruit that looks like dragon's eggs. That looks like either dragon's eggs or dragon fruit. But I bet they're both valuable. I was just about to say the same thing. Really? Yeah. So like whether whether it's whether it's baby dragons or dragon fruit. Like I know we came I know we some. came for fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I know we came for fruit, but the egg might be even better. Yeah. All right, so do y'all even if it's a pet. Do y'all go towards the tree? No. <laughs> no, we don't go towards the tree. I want to look around first. Like I want to like make sure that there's not like I want to I want to get to that tree safely because if, if those are eggs, there's going to be a big old dragon somewhere and I don't feel like being chomped. Or oh, right, there so. could be dragons and gigantic giant dudes that'll put us in their backpack or Yeah, so them, so, so I don't want to just walk up to that tree. I mean, I may be illiterate, but I'm not Totally stupid. So <laughs> you make up for everything that you can't speak in cleverness. Yes, I'm clever. All right. So I need you to roll. But wait. But if you're both going to do searching, I'm going to need you to roll both stealth rolls, which is dexterity rolls. Okay. <laughs> Here you go, John. <laughs> she got a four. Oh. Or the, the modifier of only 135. He also got a four. We both got, like, is your your dexterity zero? So four and five, very not good. You smell, uh, you hear snipping sounds. <laughs> Make wisdom checks. <clears throat> 17. I got nervous and peed my pants. 18, 19. He's got seven, seven plus right. one. He's got six. And He's got scratching 18. his head at what is that? But you, you clearly know that something big is here. And if your studies are, if you're calling your studies correctly, it's big and reptilian. Oh gosh. That sounds like a dragon. Um, I think we found a dragon. Um. I think we need a plan. <laughs> um, I think we should go make a fire over there so that the dragon will go investigate. And then once we have a clear sighting on the dragon not being by the egg, we snatch some of those, whether they're fruit or egg, and we, we, and we, we, get, we leave. All right. And I think you're a lot smarter than you get credit for because that's a good idea. All right. right. Yes. Make some wisdom rolls. 16 plus 2, so 18. What? <laughs> Oh, God, I'm like rolling like He's got no wisdom. He's a total zero on this. All one. right. First, you find some dead wood that's pretty good for making fires. And you, you part a bush. And I'm going to need you to make a dexterity roll. I was going to say, at this point, I might as well just lay there and pretend to be a log. <laughs> Three. Three. Minus one. Okay. Two. You two. Okay, no, my bad. My bad. This is three. All right, Probably something jumps out and bites you. Take oh, one point yeah. of damage. Is that HP? Yes. So one of those sixes is your maximum, and the other is. So your I just move current. the first six down to five? No, leave the first six alone. You do the second one. So move that one to five. You'll be saving me, Jimmy. And then I'm going to need you to make a constitution roll. <laughs> yeah. Four. 
Okay, you're poisoned. Oh, you just got no. bitten by, by a venomous snake. Oh, gosh, it's my worst nightmare in real uh, life. Can you make another constitution roll to not scream? She <laughs> you needed your clarity. You better pray, girl. <laughs> I was wondering if I was like, can I pray? Well, I guess I'm, I'm gathering wood right now, though. Yeah, I'm you're oh, yeah. not in the yeah. same spot right now. So you don't even know I'm sitting. You don't, don't even know, know I'm hurt. 14. That's All good, right. right. You're able to go. <laughs> but, but you can't act. But you were able to keep from full on screaming. Okay, so I go. And then the snake <gasps> slithers away. Okay. But so I'm still. Just poison, homie. That, that, so like I'm slowly spot, dying, I'm, losing health points now that I'm poisoned. Yeah, but we'll get into that as you as your turns go on. And you, this part starts swelling up. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, so are you going to go to Crystal's character? Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. I know how to cure light wounds. You well, cure light me. wounds doesn't cure poison. It just cures wounds. Oh, well, never mind. And you could, yeah, you also know light protection from evil, but you just you didn't save me from getting I'm bit by that snake. Wood, you, I don't know what you were doing. I go, I go, I go to look for the powers of evil, not, not wild animals. I go to look for Janita because I'm poisoned and she wears pants. Okay. Okay, you find her and then you, uh, you, well, you, you, dis you will decide how you're going to tell her. I tap her on the shoulder and really quietly I say, Janita, I've been poisoned by a the snake. I think I'm going to die soon. Look at my arm, it's huge. And I'm just like, whoa, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, we can't, we can't exactly just run out of here because we're going to make all kinds of noise. We have to get out of here safely. And I think that the best thing for us to do is just keep with the plan because either way, even if we don't grab any eggs or anything, that will at least distract the dragon. So we got to finish making this. And then at least if we get the eggs, we can pay for my medical bill. My, uh, That's true because I'm bill. sitting on five money. That's all I got. Me so too. We're in this. We came in this with the we're same. We're finishing it. We're finishing the plan. Okay, so you make the fire. And I'm going to need you to make a wisdom roll. Okay, you realize that you have to clear the area because this place is going to go up like thing, real man. good if you don't do yeah, that before. Oh, yeah. So you properly prepare the area. Then you go. And it starts going up. And then I'm like, all right, we got to get out of here. We're next to the fire that we're going to now attract the dragon with. All right. So, yes. So, you're going to, uh, are you going to go after the tree? We are going to not go straight to the tree, but we're going to go, like, around. Like, we want to go into, like, a hidden area, like, in right. the actual Make a perception. Place. I have a question. Can I, like, use, can I, can we, like, can I use my magic missile and then we just, like, ride the magic missile? Oh, it's not fire? that kind of missile. Oh. Okay. It's more like a like it, think of like those regular energy blasts from Dragon Ball Z. Okay, so <clears throat> fifteen. All right. roll you, too. Yeah, you can if you want to. Fifteen. You both spot this big bush big enough to hold you to have for you both to hide in. Well we don't want to hide. I just wanted to like go farther away and like it yeah. is farther away. Oh, okay. It's like our next checkpoint hiding place. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. I understand. I understand. Okay. So we're being eventually right, will help in, in this situation. <laughs> Possibly. So, make some stealth rolls. I'm going to So, your dexterity. Oh. And, I'm, uh, and I'm good at making... Oh, no, I'm trying to sleep. Five. You got a five. All right. I got a three. <laughs> Okay, you both being as loud as possible, but you know you can't stay put either, so you commit to the plan. And you get to the bush, and you go in the bush, then you hear leathery flaps. Oh, gosh. And then you see this huge green dragon. Does it work? It's like, I smell. No. And... I smell woman, possibly princess. Like, no, too humble. Clary, there something's not right. 
<laughs> Just that the rest of his plan goes well because we're about to make a break for the tree. All right, so you so we pray. So you hold out your holy symbol, like going like this, good praying to whatever yeah, God you pray to. And I say the prayer. Yeah, you can choose to say a prayer or just say you say the prayer. I would say the prayer. Okay, so yeah. you just said the prayer. The prayer of safety and help us get to that tree. Okay, so now I'm going to need you to make dexterity rolls. There we go. We haven't done so great with these dexterity <laughs> rolls up to this point. Ten. It's, uh, well, plus one, it's eleven. It's not All super right. amazing. Your it's turn. Not terrible. Twelve plus... Nothing. All right, so you both dash out of the bush, dash towards that tree, and I'm going to need you to make another dexterity roll for me. 12. It's going to be a 13. And then 13. His is 9. All right, you grab one of the fruits, and he grabs leaves. He tried. I love how like she's like the smarter one, even though she can't read. It's all in the dice. Uh, it's like oh, oh, what intruders, my fruit. And we so it is stick fruit. it in the bag. We stick it in the bag, and um, uh, what's, idea? what's your idea? I say that we somehow attract that giant guy to put us in his bag, so that we can like escape. Wait. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not. We're not doing that. Um, um I. Like Summon a ventriloquist dragon, baby. All right. I'll take a look at the <laughs> ventriloquism <laughs> spell. That's a good idea. Ventriloquist dragon, baby. You're getting a fake dragon, baby. That's a, I didn't think about that. That's a good idea. <laughs> that is That'll throw a mock while we get away. Unless we have your life attention from you. Not that Where's wrong kind of evil. evil. Dragon. Well, I we're guess I guess we're the evil ones. We're, just we're trying to steal his kids. Stuff. I was like, I don't know if the dragon is going to fall in this scenario. It isn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're bad people. <laughs> this is fine now. It is. Okay. Confound it. I'll just go to the table. Ah, okay. oh, spells. Page 36. Okay. Right, thank you for your patience. No, no, it's all good. I'm ready to go Jeff Dunham on something. The <laughs> drag again. Oh, I think I see this. No, no, no. As uh, where the spell is. Now. Yeah, I'll should. say I want that word as like tissue without a T. Wait, what did you invite me? Yeah. I was about to say what the heck. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> Ventriloquism. Hmm. It lasts for two turns and its range is 60 feet. For the duration of this spell, the caster may make his voice appear to come from any location or source within the spell range. Okay. So, okay. What kind of language do dragons particularly not take very well to that I know? Almost all the ones you can speak of. Prob probably common would be good. Isn't that just like English? No, no. Uh, what's your alignment? My alignment is law. Yeah, law would probably not go well in this situation. Okay, so I have no idea how law goes, but I use my ventriloquism spell to make uh, to, to summon a voice coming from the opposite direction of where we are, far away from their tree. It basically says, like, I've come to take all your fruit from your tree. But it's, like, way over here. And it sounds Wait, something you're like... you having a dragon baby do that? Or you're just doing... No, no, no. Like, I, I'm just... It oh, says that all the spell does them. is it... Yeah, so I'm just, like, making it sound like we're way over there. Mm -hmm. And I just, like... And I say in law... Which translates <laughs> translate to... I've come... To take all your dragon fruit from your tree. He's like, what? He flies overhead and circles the spot <laughs> he thinks it's coming from throwing acid. Breath. And we just make a break for it. We are out of there. Not going to try and grab any more fruit? We are, wait. wait. <laughs> I feel like Brian, you want to leave? <laughs> um, how heavy is this stuff? Well, it's about, um, uh, since I only grabbed leaves. It's about as big as 
Okay. Yes. As as he's flying, like as the dragon is flying, mm -hmm. I'm like grabbing and shoving stuff in the pack. Make a dexterity roll. And I only got leaves before, so I tell myself that I can't I can't leave oh, without at least one fruit. Make another dexterity roll. Uh, nineteen. Okay. Plus, we in this plus one. You grab five. Fourteen. You grab five too. So in total, you have eleven fruit. So we have eleven. Are these fruit. different ones than the other ones? Yeah, this looks like peep. So this, would be, this would be separate, right? Oh, yeah, no. this is a uh, put actual dragon. Fruit. I put yeah, I put eleven real dragon fruit. Yeah, they look like scaly purple dragon's eggs. And then I just uh, we're just gone. We're making all a break right. So make it. another dexterity roll for getting with five out. real dragon's fruits. That works. I got a four. <laughs> Plus one. I got a five. We both got five. All right, you trip over, but you, you get, get to back rolls up. A lot. You trip over, Twins. then you get back up and keep going, and then you hear, "Wait a second. <laughs> Bear. Then she starts flying in your direction, and you keep running. So, I I need you to make another uh, deck scare. Okay. Roll. How often can I use Nine. can I use my? Oh, uh, and you uh, you lose one point of health. I was literally just thinking about that. Yeah, of course you were. Hey. I'm scared. <laughs> it like, didn't erase your five at all. No, oh, whatever. It's a four now. You got a 14. All right. What'd you roll? She forgot. Okay, well, we'll just say it it's a failure. Like, it was like a four. Well, yeah. either way, it's a failure. So, <laughs> Wait, was that the first? No, that was the first one. That was the last one. I don't think you after, rolled this one. roll again. Yes. This time it's a 10. Okay, Nine plus good. One. You see the traps that you avoided earlier and you're running past them. And you narrowly avoid them yet again. There were traps before? Yeah. Did you just missed them? Yeah, earlier I mentioned y'all, when on a successful roll y'all made earlier, y'all. Mm. Oh. I mentioned that you and found then what did traps I, what did that lose a health point rabbits. for? You're poisoned. Oh, yeah, dang. Yeah. Yeah. So earlier I mentioned that on the way to the tree, you found traps with bun dead bunnies on mm -hmm. them to lure in mm -hmm. people. I'm about to die. Also. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> and the the dragon still chasing starts... us. Okay. You know, I need one of those dice. You have one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's behind your Xbox controller. Oh, haha. <laughs> right. Thirteen. Well, what's your armor classes? Um. Six. Seven. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at the on the class table. When can I use another like skill thing? You can use a spell, right? Can yeah. you put this type the dragon to sleep? That's what I was about to ask. I'm gonna put the dragon to sleep. Okay, let's see here. Okay. I mean, it could have been cool to just put it to sleep earlier and quietly gather the fruit, but our dexterity rolls are terrible. It'll open it right back up. Okay, you so save the best for last. There's acid splashing right behind you too. You can feel droplets on you enough to burn the topmost layer of your flesh, but not really dig in. So do I lose a point when it touches my flesh? No, I'm right, saying I'm it's, saying, it's, it's like, like pure light it, it gets that very thin top layer of your flesh, but nothing more, thankfully. Okay. So. I propose we try to put a sleep spell on the dragon. All right, uh, you roll the dice. Thirteen. You cast the spell, and then you see visible magical energy just go like off the dragon. It's like, so you're a wizard, huh? Yeah. I guess no one told you magic doesn't work that well on dragons. And then I'm like, I'm not a wizard, I'm an elf. Oh, that's so. Can you use the ventral prison? No, you can only use the crystal. Like, I have better skills than these two. You've got charm person, can you charm the dragon? Ooh, well, you just said that magic doesn't work well on dragons. Oh, that's magic. The ventriloquism did. No, oh, you did use it on the dragon. Touche, touche. Well, I mean, obviously, a magic missile it. wasn't going to. No, yeah, magic doesn't work well. It's magic no, it's no, like actually, like affecting it. Okay, but so I propose like, we use like, the magic missile. All right. Wait, wait. 
Hold on. What, what's it, around should, us? Should we shoot it at him? Make a roll. Make a, a wisdom roll. Because like, because like, okay, we could shoot it at the dragon, but like, what if there's something behind us we could shoot that would just go up in flames and like kind of create a barrier or something? I like the way you think. You right. need a right. And it's giant. Roll, 19 plus 2, so like 22. Well, you recall earlier when he shouted, no, you heard there were voices crying. <laughs> so we can use the hobgoblins to help us defeat the dragon. Uh, Is that what you're proposing? Or, then will we no. just, or will we just have hobgoblins and a dragon? So you know there's something us. in this canyon aside from the dragon. I feel like everything would, would come together against the dragon, right? Not necessarily, remember. but they might. The dragon might eat them instead of us. <gasps> yeah, and they're just hopped up on so sweet. Mm -hmm. I personally don't feel that this was particularly helpful information, but I don't know what to do with that thought. I so propose. Uh, well, Jay knows, but he can't just tell us. Well, you're yes. looking around too. I propose that we do take your idea and we try to shoot the missile at something that can create a barrier to trap the dragon. All right, make a make a wisdom roll to see if you see it. Right, do, do you agree? Yeah. Twelve plus minus one is only eleven. Well, you know that they're Still better than ten. Then. Well, you do recall the traps you've been passing this whole time. So something must have set these traps. Oh yeah, so we uh, could get the dragon. You lure the, the, the dragon. Traps. You need to lure the dragon underneath one of the traps, and then I'm gonna hide behind a bush again or something and shoot a missile at it to make the trap so fall basically, on top of the dragon. Basically, we're. I mean, the dragon has full sighting of us right now. Right. But we know the traps are there, but the dragon doesn't know the traps are there. Or does. The dragons the traps? No, the, the, no. the, 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 the dice of the traps. The hog goblins. Uh, yeah, oh, that's what Jay was getting at when he said that they were nearby. So Jay's proposing that we trap the dragon with a hog goblin trap. And that's I kinda kind of like, what I was thinking. Yes. We're going to trap the dragon with a hog goblin Okay, trap. how are you going to do that? Um. She's going to, I'm going, oh, I know. I'm, I'm going to fall to the ground and pretend that I tripped or something. You're gonna get acided. So that she. Oh. Is that even a word? Acided. For now, it is. And. Wait. What, okay. What kind of I will take. They? You can heal me from the light. You wound. haven't tripped. So on I will me. take one for the team and let Dragon Acid pour on me, just so that he keeps chasing you, so that I can stay behind and shoot say the that, missile. That doesn't sound like a light wound, but. Anyway, all you because you haven't set off the traps, you're not one hundred percent sure what they are. All you know is you've seen like a random rabbit here with what looks like hidden rope around it, or a rabbit hanging from somewhere by a rope. So the dragon's flying, and we're in kind of a forest area. So no, we're gonna throw, we're gonna throw a rabbit a rope up to it, so he'll eat them, and then pull the rope to make the oh, trap fall. Like that will work. Um. So we're running in a canyon. In real life, we'd be dead. We'd have no time to think about all these things. That's good. That is D and D. That is in real life. Canyon. Where are the Wait, gigantic gelatin cubes at? We're in a when canyon. You them? Yes. A canyon's like down. Yes. So I think we should. Just oh, shoot we shoot the, the canyon and make the rocks fall. Yes, like just like yeah. Okay. So rocks fall, everyone dies. Is what you're proposing? No, just like back there. Okay. Well. Like where, like where the dragon is. Oh, he's above you. Mm. Oh, he's like right above us. Yeah, he's flying above you. Shoot. Dragon's you're making this flying. really hard, game master. But I guess that's what you're supposed to do. So yes. Well done. Um. I have a short sword and some padded armor. <laughs> you have mace, padded armor, and holy symbol. We use the power of Jesus <laughs> with the cross. Well, it ain't to protect it's us. Whatever holy symbols of whatever God. She okay, is. so I say we still go for the missile, but we put padded armor over us, and then rocks fall on us. We're wearing it. I think we kind of only have one shot. At this, so and it's a chance to blow. We literally have comes. one shot. I think we should just shoot the dragon. And if we die, oh well, we're gonna die anyway. It's so our one is, chance. The thing is, if nothing else, maybe we'll injure the dragon. Maybe we'll puncture his wing. Something because either way, if we don't do something, we're gonna die anyway. So we might as well try. So let's shoot the freaking dragon with a magic missile. All right. 
So I pulled up the page for Magic Missile. So all right, you point the magic, a magic missile, a missile of magical energy darts forth from the caster's fingertips and strikes its target, dealing one d six plus one points of damage. All right, so you point the finger, and you magical energy you charges at the tip. Doug! <laughs> yeah, so it's like when you're a kid and you use your finger to shoot, except something actually shoots. And I'm going to need you to roll your dice. Can I have crystal roll for me instead? Oops. No, you got to roll it. Yeah, I'll let you re-roll that. <laughs> Man, that doesn't count. That dropped. What was it? And I, I, the only reason why. <laughs> yeah, I did. Exactly. Oh, come on. It's a two. I should have took in the three. We're going to die. <laughs> it goes past him, and he looks up at the missile like, what the heck? And we hide. <laughs> okay, make some uh, wisdom rolls. I don't know what else to do other than hide while he's following it with his eyes. Seven plus two, so it's All right, he can, uh, yeah. No, minus one, all right. one. You see, all right. You just see some traps in front of you. More dead critters to, to as bait. As bait. <laughs> um, um, so there's like nowhere to hide. You just see. The you traps. lose one point of health. Oh, I have, I have another idea that we can do. What? I think it's your turn, though. I have one more idea we propose. Okay, so the hobgoblins. Don't necessarily weren't necessarily liking us earlier because they were like, "What's that noise?" Yeah. So I say that I scream a charming spell out to the hobgoblins to come help us get away from this dragon. That won't work, but you can scream if you want. Well, then. I think at this point, if all the hobgoblins come out, they'll still maybe help us. They're not going to help us. They don't like us, but like I mean, they don't like dragons. They might distract the dragon, and maybe we can. Get okay, away. yeah, that is plausible. And I speak hobgoblin, so I go spider man. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Anyway, uh, get, are you <laughs> sure you don't want to go with that? Wait, spider head? Well, no, like well, I was making a joke as the hobgoblin from Spider Man. So no, I do want to scream, but I don't oh, actually okay. say Spider Man. I go in black Which is. <laughs> Which help. is helping up goblin. Okay. Yeah, roll. Nineteen. Thank God. You hear oh, uh, what's that sound? Whoa, whoa. Who who wants <laughs> them? You know we don't help each other, but let's see who it is. Maybe we can put him out of his misery. <laughs> and then yeah, she doesn't know what all that was she no just heard. But then you hear footsteps. She just starts praying that the I dragon will attack them instead. Just... I'm praying that the dragons eat the goblins. I'm praying for a miracle. Okay, you hear footsteps and weapon clatters, and then you see above you on the canyon these figures, both small and large. The bigger ones are red skinned, and the smaller ones are yellowish greenish. Skinned. Are the big red skinned ones the same ones that had the bag earlier with the deer? No, that's a, no. They're that like big by person standards, okay. not giant. <clears throat> and then the, the dragon's like, what, like, what? You guys, you're always trying to steal my fruit. It's like, wait, wait a minute. The hobgoblins? Yeah, that oh, said. To, and then good. the goblin's like, wait, what? And they look up and they're like, ah! you see arrows flying, get running, panicked, running. Ah. And we're just going to run too. Yeah, so. We've they, created they, so, the whole time, so this whole time the dragon was... Oh, right. fruit You'll from make, the goblins? No, the goblins were trying to steal stuff from the dragon, and the dragon doesn't like them, so now the dragon's distracted, and we're going to run. All right, okay. so here's what you're going to do. You're going to make dexterity rolls with a plus five. Why is it with a plus five? Because he's helping us out. Yeah, because the dragons do, and the goblins are distracted by each oh, other. Oh, so it's because we did the... Okay. Oh, three. Eight. Eight. It's only an eight. This is high. This is Mine's high. 24. Oh, all right. You want to make a strength check? It'll also be out of plus five. Hey. 24. You notice she ain't gonna, she ain't moving fast enough. So as you're ready, you swipe her up and you get out of there. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. so you get out of the can. You hear 
carnage happening behind you and you're back in the forest. And then you you hear, what's going on there? Boom. There's the giant Boom. again. I just want to sneak away. I don't want to do anything else. Yeah. She, she's supposed to still have full health at this point. Yeah. Things so lucky. You lose a point and you can't hold her anymore. Oh, God. I'm about to die. I'm down to well, two. Uh, do you want to use your cure light wounds on him? I was literally about to say that, yeah. Better. All right, so... I'm just going to say he's at maximum health right now. Oh, Oh. because of the cure light wounds? Yes. So he's not unpoisoned. He's going to keep... Well, normally I'd have you roll to see how much you're healing. It'll still go back down, but for now it's... Yeah. You're still going to lose, but she's... Are you sure you don't want to roll? Oh, you'll you'll understand. He's got the idea. All right, so he's he's healed up again. He can pick you back up, and he starts running. It's like, wait, what's going on there? Wait. Is that an elf? Is that an elf kidnapping a woman? I don't want to know what that's about. So you get out of there, make a dexterity. He just leaves roll. it. He's like, never mind. He's <laughs> like, I don't want to know what's what's going on with that. Seven. All right, you run right through the tribal goblin tribe, and they're like, get him! And. <laughs> But yeah, and they're throwing spears and whatnot, make a dexterity roll. Well, I got padded armor and a short, uh, well, technically it says sharp sword. But Actually, yeah, go good. ahead and make the roll. Okay. Sharp sword, I'm sorry. It's supposed to say short sword. It's misspelled. Oh. <laughs> it says sharp. <laughs> okay, oh, what do you roll? Oh, uh, plus five. Plus five is 14. All right, so. All right. I'm going to do a video game cutscene style here. So. (laughs) Video game cutscene style thing. All right, so it's showing in the village, and they're like, what is all that noise? You're still still laughing at it. (laughs) And and the person (laughs) at one of the villages goes like this at the forest of abundance, like, what is that? And then you dash out holding... Holding crystals like, ah, help! And spears are shooting all around you like, whoa! And then you hear the bell, the town bell being rung and the militia marshals up and they gather around the outskirts, weapons and bows drawn and the goblins emerge and they're like, whoa, whoa! And they turn back the other way because they weren't planning on the raid today. And we're not telling anyone about the fruit. We just want to get to the fancy oh, city yes. and get you healed. And you uh, fall... That all down because the po- <laughs> what are you thinking on me? Oh, because you're poisoned. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, you fall you're down shame. and you, and like you look poison, purple. Bro. And I look purple? Yes. When I'm, and, I, and I shout out for, for help. Yeah, you, or what if I was just like, feed me one of the fruits? Maybe it'll help me. Oh, because we want to sell those, them. and it might not do anything, but for sure they're going to know what to do. What if they're valuable because they heal people, though? Well, Make a wisdom roll. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm willing to take this risk. When we could get help that we know will work. 15. You know, you know that dragon fruit is not regular fruit, and there's something about it that makes it valuable. But what if it kills him? What if it's like too much for his little elf body, or what if there's some <laughs> sort of chemical in- imbalance? I'm worried here. I'm not going to feed my dying friend a random fruit that I just pull off a tree. Oh, I'm not doing it. Okay, so. You lose a point, and <laughs> he. All right, I so call he, for help. All right, the crowd comes and they see Snake Venom. He's been poisoned with Snake Venom. Call the sick town cleric. Snake the town cleric. But I mean, I'm cleric. a cleric and I suck, but, but all I, right. I, I, I saved your life. With you go to lose. one health point, and the town cleric comes. Wait, so I lose another one now? No, you're down to one point of health. Oh, crap. Because it took that long for them to get in here. Oh. Should have gave me the fruit. Yeah, he puts his, his hand on your head. <clears throat> and then, oh. <laughs> and then he feeds the fruit to me. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't know we have it. All right. Okay. Good thing. He got it right just in time. He rubs his hands, pulls out his holy symbol. He puts his hand over your head and prays to whatever God he prays to. And then you feel the poison vanishing through your body. And you feel all good again, except for your loss. There's a fire in my heart. Except for your lost what? Hit points. <laughs> so, oh, you find yourself with the strength to get back up. But I still only have one point left. Yeah, yes. but you're alive. Yeah, okay, but I'm you're alive. alive. 
And that you're not all dying. Time. And we're going to sell it all. All right, so you are good to go. And everyone's just cheering that you came back from... Except if I like trip or something, trip. I'm dead. Um, and I would like to ask where like the nearest inn or something is so that we can get some rest and some food. <laughs> the nearest inner mountain health they, center. Po they point you to the pub. You'll get your health back after a good night's rest. And you both lose one, two gold each for a room. <clears throat> And then you hear from the known from the known travelers in the dining area the next morning that <clears throat> there's someone in the next town in the next city over who spies exotic foods. I the next city over? Yes, because oh, if you sell it here. Oh wait, so my health is back up now because yes. I slept mm -hmm. back fully. <clears throat> yes. Um I would like to get information on how to get to this town. All right, so you ask the gnomes, and they tell you there's a <clears throat> there's a wagon leaving town any minute now. They'll take you there for the price of how much gold you've got. I've got, I've only got three. For the price of three gold each. We're doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're gonna sell it once. At we this get there. point, I'm down for anything that doesn't involve me having to die again. Almost. All right, so the wagon master tells you all aboard. You get on, put your stuff on the top of the wagon. You're with some fancy-looking folk who are anxious to get to the city, and you ride off into the sunset. And that is the end of this one shot. So and we just we know we're gonna sell it because we're safely on our way. Yeah. So and I'm it's gonna... like that part of the movie where like it's the last scene and. And they're like, we're going to the city, and, and they look in the bag, and they look at each other, and they smile, and it ends. Exactly. And then, Got it. And then after we sell the money, I spend all my money on a ring and propose to Janita for saving my life. And I have my doubts, because homeboy's got no dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. We'll just say he tries that, and we'll just say you have your doubts, and that'll be the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for having us. That You're was welcome. That was fun. This was a good for this was a good time for me. And I hope this was a good time for y'all watching. And I hope you will all be able to I hope this will help you make up your mind and wanting to buy my gig and play for yourself. Do it. <clears throat> He's the best. Yes, thank you for that. Well, and thank you all for watching once again. And I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. I want to like do it again, but. <laughs>